more about the deal. Senator Rob Portman of Ohio, and he's also a former U.S. trade rep. So we had Senator Toomey on. He's got some issues. Um, they, you don't want to sacrifice the good in pursuit of the perfect, I guess, Senator. Yeah, well, look, this is a trade opening agreement, so it's good for us. It's good for Ohio jobs. Uh, farmers love it. Uh, manufacturers love it. It's going to be good for auto workers in the United States. There's a lot of positive things about it, and it, you know, it builds on the North American Free Trade Agreement that's already there, but it improves it and it updates it. So uh, this is a good thing for our country, and it's, it's great for economic growth. I mean, the GDP growth, Joe, is actually greater, as estimated by the International Trade Commission, than the growth we would have gotten from TPP, you know, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which a lot of people said was the hallmark agreement we had to get it done, particularly on the Democratic side. So. This is about economic growth, it's about jobs. Uh, ITC also says 176,000 new jobs, more jobs in manufacturing. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a good deal for America. Do you have any of the same concerns of uh, Senator Toomey uh, on any of the issues? Are there things that you would you'd change if you could if you were king? Well, um, if I were king, uh, you know, I wouldn't have negotiated quite the same agreement, uh, particularly in terms of dispute settlement and some other issues that uh, have to do with changes from the existing agreement but look this is this is better than the North American Free Trade Agreement in so many respects and it's a great example of persistence and patience you know this thing was negotiated over the last couple of years it was signed off on over a year ago and it took the house a whole year just to say yes uh, it, it should have been done a long time ago because this could have started to provide benefits for the people of Ohio and around the country but we're finally there, and that's great, and now we need to move forward on it quickly. A weird convergence of events yesterday. Um, obviously, it was, I mean, within hours, an hour, I think, of, of the other uh, big news of the day with the articles uh, of, of impeachment. But the AFL-CIO, there was something going on for the last couple of days. I mean, it, was the timing, in your view, suspect, or is that just the way that, you know, uh, Speaker Pelosi said, look, it, it gets done when it, it gets written up, and, and it's exactly yeah. the way it came in, and this is when I did it. Or was there, like everything else, was there a political um, tone to the, the timing? I, I think both, Joe. Look, um, it's, it, it is kind of uh, more than a coincidence that this happens to happen on the same week that impeachment is announced. I think this is something that probably the Democrats in the House uh, were looking to do because they've been criticized, I think rightly, by saying, people saying, you know, you guys are being distracted by impeachment, not doing the work of the American people. And this was a good example of it because this, this helps everybody and it's, you know, it's good for our country. So I think they kind of wanted to pair the two. Uh, but also, as you know, at year end, uh, Congress loves to put stuff off. So whether it's the appropriations bills that are hopefully coming together in the next few days here, whether it's USMCA, whether it's the defense authorization bill, which just came together yesterday, you know, after four or five months of negotiations, uh, things do tend to happen at the end of the year around here. So uh, I, it, we didn't ask Senator Toomey much about this, but I, I just want to ask you quickly, and we don't want to dwell, dwell on this, but it could impact the markets, obviously, and, uh, and investors. But when they list the, the possible GOP senators that could, in some crazy scenario, vote yes on, on the impeachment at a trial, your name was actually in, in, I think you were like in the third tier. You know, you got your Romneys and you got your Lamar Alexanders and your Susan Collins, but then there was a next uh, level. I mean, it, the, the media entity writing it was trying so hard to get to 17. I mean, they, they were like, they were doing black, they were trying, just hope springs eternal. I mean, they were, uh, you know, just appealing. But you were there. Is there any scenario, anything else that could happen that would get you to a yes uh, in the Senate trial, Senator? Well, Joe, I, I, I don't know why I was on the list, uh, probably because I'm saying I'm a juror in the Senate and I'm going to listen. And I think everybody should listen. And, you know, we should allow both cases, both sides to present their cases. And I think that's going to happen now. That's good. There was talk about the Senate not really taking it up. In other words, having a motion to dismiss right away. I think that would be a mistake. But I've seen nothing thus far that rises to the level of impeachment. And I think okay. that's, that's really Im important that we, we focus on the fact that we have an election right now before us. I mean, you know, we've got presidential debates uh, going on. We have a voting in Ohio. Early voting is going to occur in about two months. Um, we've got primaries coming up in New Hampshire and other states, California. So, I mean, I think the American people are going to have a chance to go to the polls and express their views one way or the other. And those who would like to remove the president from office 
they'll have their chance through the democratic process. I think that's a much better way to do this. So what would, the, in your view, what will the number be for, for GOP? That, do you have any idea? It, will, will there be a couple of uh, outliers that, that go with well, the majority? Or it would be the minority in the Senate to go with the minority? Yeah, I mean, Joe, I, I, again, I guess it depends on whether there's something new, if there's new okay. evidence. If there's not, I, I, don't, I don't see that there'll I don't, be anybody. You, they're, they're, the president says he really wants a trial because he wants to call Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and Adam Schiff. He wants all these people to be called. But uh, I don't think McConnell thinks that there's the necessarily the, I think you need majority votes to call some of those witnesses, right? Yeah, you, you, you would, and, and by majority you can do under the rules that existed in previous impeachments. And look, there's only been three in our country's history, and none have resulted in a conviction, by right. the way. This is, a, this is an extreme measure to remove someone from office who, um, you know, has what, been elected by the American What's the feeling in Ohio? People, is, this, so. is this bolstering Trump in Ohio or, or hurting Trump in, in Ohio? And you're from the, I don't good, know. You're from the I mean, good part of Ohio. You're down in the, yeah. uh, the Cincinnati. Yeah. The bad part of Ohio. <laughs> oh, I beg to differ. I'm not going to mention any. I won't mention any names, but there are some. Green Toledo, all of them are great. Cleveland yeah, exactly. might as well be Cleveland's New York City. Too. It's so we love uh, lefty. Cleveland uh, is great. All of Ohio is great, Joe. Although I'm still a Bengals fan and a Reds fan. Oh, yeah, um, great, great football team down there. You got two. Are you going to pick that well, Burrow guy? You think? Burrow's I hope so. Gonna... I mean, you know, the, the 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 kid's from Ohio, so it's, it's only right that he played for the Bengals. He's amazing. Please. We've got a 1 and 11 please, record, so we, we, should get the, we should get the first make first that round pick. Don't win any more games. Hey, you got the Patriots this Sunday. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think you have to worry about that. Actually, I'm not sure. They, they're kind of sucking lately. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Senator. Thanks, Joe. Huh? Good to be on. Good to be on. Yeah, I suck. Thanks, Hi, Senator. Becky. Hi, Andrew. Okay, coming out. <laughs>